this out. Mm -hmm. A man who calls himself Uncle Monster makes high-quality masks and other monster-related products. So cool. Kimmy Brown has a look. I mean, oh, my gosh. gosh. Oh, wow. Are you in the there? That he has created that is available for purchase. Mm -hmm. The what? attention to detail that Uncle Monster has wow. is incredible. So we're going to walk you through exactly how he makes something like this. First of all, let me transform back into reporter candy instead of monster candy. So now uh, you guys start off with this mold. And I say you guys, but really... Uncle Monster, it's just you who's making these. First of all, how about how long does it take to make these? Uh, the average sculpt can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to several months to do. Uh, this one here I've been working on for about six months now. Wow, and, and you can see all of the attention to detail here. And he heats up the clay uh, right over here behind us and then starts sculpting it uh, to be able to make what is going to be a mold, right? And in fact, if we walk you right outside the, um, the shed here, there is an area where you're able to then make it into a latex mold? Yep, yep. Everything gets made into a plaster mold, and then from that plaster mold, we do a latex casting, and the casting will give us some blanks, like what we have hanging up here. Yeah, now if they look a little bit bigger, that's because when you when you start off with the, um, with the plaster mold, once the latex gets on it, it can make a little bit smaller. Correct, correct. Yeah, the latex does shrink. Okay, and this, I mean, you can see, even without it being painted, just how intricate it is, and he goes off of his own design. Designs, uh, to be able to make this and so then once it becomes this that's when he starts the painting process which you can see over here these are some of the um, completed versions what are you using to paint these with they're actually base coated with a rubber cement paint that's okay. mixed with oil paints and then after that everything is airbrushed with acrylic inks and then there's a lot of different washes that go on now, you have been very busy because people want the best of the best. They're not trying to get those masks that they can get, um, you know, at one of those corporate stores, right? right. Because these are going to be all unique and different. And you said even if you use the same mold, you try and paint them a little bit differently. So now you're sort of getting into the time where you can relax, you would think. But instead, you say winter time. What, what do you do the most of during oh winter? Gosh, uh, during the winter is when I spend most of my time sculpting. Um, it's a little too cold to be casting masks, <laughs> so I won't be casting again until around spring. Spring. Um, and then we also do a every other week live show with a couple other hosts who come in here. Yeah, I um, want to show you that too because he has a really cool setup here uh, that he does. So not only does he do a show on Facebook Live, but then he also wants to help people because you are self taught. Yes. And so you, you, when you started getting into this, you were not able to find other people who could help you learn how to do something like this. And so you want to be the person that can help people, which is kind of kind of you because you're making money off of this. I mean, it's a side hustle, but you do make money. Yep. And there's a lot of other talented artists that are out there. We like to show them up on our shows so that people can see who these people are all over the world and stuff. And it's a lot of fun. If people are interested and they want to find out more about you, uh, what is the website and what's the name of the show? All of that so they can find you. Uh, my website is UncleMonstersPlace.com and you can find me on Facebook, uh, Uncle Monsters Decoffinated Designs. And we actually have a show coming up this Saturday where we're going to talk about werewolves and we will also be giving away another mask. So. Okay, perfect. I love that. Uh, the masks range in price from about 150 to 250 depending on how intricate they are. Guys? Cool. Fun. So I have a feeling uh, Jordan over there is already Oh, yeah, Jordan's probably right now. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, I got uh, my request. I got yeah. my request. Yeah. Next Halloween. Next Halloween. Yeah. I want to be Cousin Monster. That was cool. <laughs> cousin uh, the music of George Michael lives.